Well, hey there, welcome back to the Two Stroke Turbo Channel. Welcome back to what some call the best automotive content on the internet. A lot of fun cars are previewed and highlighted on this channel. And also, there's also, also, I'm saying also, my shop dog Stella. Everyone loves my shop dog Stella. And you can see she's curled up here in the shade. It's a hot day here in Portland, Oregon. And she just needs a little scratch on her back. She likes being pressed up against something solid. Makes her feel comfortable. It's gonna be 85 today. Perfect weather for Oregon. And uh, we've, we've had our run of hot weather. What do we got in the shop today? What are we working on? I know you guys wouldn't tune in to this channel if you didn't think you were gonna see something really, really cool. <clears throat> and here you go. Iconic microcar butts. Two derrieres of BMW Isettas from the 50s, pretty cool. Rebuilt the engine on this one, I've gotta drive it to prove to the customer that's not gonna blow up. So I'm in the process of doing that. You're gonna see a video on that soon. These cars are really fun. It's my passion. It's what I really enjoy in life. They're, they, they really make my wheels go round, as, as they say in the mechanics world. But I can't make a living working on these every day. There's just not enough of them. They're cute, they're cuddly, they're easily stored, they're collectible, they're fun, they're economical, you might say, and they, they deserve all the praise that, that, I mean, they're fantastical cars. But we do work on bread and butter cars. And by bread and butter, I mean the family minivan and or utility van. This is a 2002 Volkswagen Eurovan. These things were so popular 10 years ago. Oh my gosh, everybody wanted one of these things. Now, since they quit making them in 2003, there really hasn't been anything to fill the void except for Hondas and Toyotas. But these stand out because they have a pop top. If you look closely from here on up, it's a fiberglass top. The top has been cut and this pops, I forget if it goes this way or that way. It's a pop top where you can sleep up there. That top weighs about 1200 pounds with the brackets, the hydraulics, the canvas, the windows, the mechanism, the top, the whole bit. It's really heavy and it's terrible for efficiency on these vans because you've got 1200 pounds above your head, tires, brakes, the van has to lug around that extra weight. And these things are really, they're maintenance intensive, let's put it that way. To put this in perspective, 1200 pounds of that fiberglass top and mechanism on the top of that van is the same as having these two Isettas up there. They weigh about 600 pounds a piece. Think of that. These two cars riding around with you on the top of your van wherever you go. Now, the advantage is when you go camping, you can pop it and you got a place to sleep and it's fun. You got a built-in tent, the whole deal. I have worked on lots of these things. I don't know how many, 50, 100, who knows. They all are about the same and they all kind of have the same problems. And let's go through that. They're front wheel drive. They're, there is no all wheel drive version for these. Um, they do rust out. Uh, if they come from the, the Northeast or the East Coast, this one actually is pretty rusted. And I know that, but you can actually tell whenever somebody uses the Schultz, Rocker Schultz, they're trying to cover up something. So this has got the textured paint from here down, and I know it's rusted. Underneath, it's ter you can almost see through it, which is terrible because this is a heavy van. This thing weighs almost 8,000 pounds. You've got a pretty small engine. You have a 2.8 liter v VR6, so it's almost in the inline six, but it's not quite a V. Um, not a bad engine, but they do have problems with timing chains and things. You've got to run certain oil. You've got to be careful. You can't overheat them. The transmissions are a bit weak. You have to put a cooler on them. If not, the fluid boils and $5,000 transmissions are 
not fun when they get in their older age, but they're very utilitarian. They're really cool, very spacious when they work. They are typical Volkswagen quality. Expect to replace door handles every five years. <laughs> uh, lots of room in here. You've got a rear facing seat. You can get another one in here. Some of these have sinks and toilets and things, and it's pretty cool when you can pop that top. But I will tell you, the amount of people that actually own these and pop the top are very few. People own them thinking they'll pop the top and they never do. So I don't know. They take a certain class rating tire. You have to have the 2,500 pound tires, 2,500 pound test tires because these things are so heavy and they wear them out like crazy. And the gas mileage is not good because you're moving a lot of weight. I, I'm not trying to talk anybody out of one of these things, but I actually try to talk customers out of these because there's better ways to do it. You can buy a whole lot of hotels for, for one of these. Um, anyhow, they're fun, but it's a niche vehicle now. Uh, they're a little long in the tooth. They're, they're interesting. Let's just put it that way. I don't see so many of them anymore. This door handle was broken when it came in. I got it all fixed, had to replace the interior the exterior and then adjust the strike i don't know how that got out of whack but uh, once this gets out of whack it makes the handles break because you can't open the door readily but pretty neat little vehicles only come uh well there are some that are five speeds very rare i have only seen automatic eurovans and let me give you a little that's what the dash looks like when you fire it up let's turn the ac off Luckily, the AC works on this thing, and it actually runs pretty darn well. Um, some of these need a lot of work. This one has 214,000 miles on them, which is actually low miles for a 2002. Um, if you're interested in getting one of these things, I will talk about it. Let's put it that way. But neat van nonetheless. Now it's kind of a collector and or enthusiast vehicle. If you want a used one of these, they're close to $30,000, like this one in this type of shape, with rust, with some problems, and that to me is just nuts. But the, the value is all on that top. If you get one without the top, they're half that, or you know, a third of the price. So there you go. There's my perspective of today. I'm talking about cool cars is a Volkswagen Eurovan. Who would have thought? <laughs> Frankly, I think I'd rather have the two I said is <laughs> They're just so darn cute. Look at those things. Little bug eyes. Gotta love them. All right. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Thanks for subscribing and supporting me. And I appreciate all your comments. I do read them. Uh, and uh, have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.